So look, let's try and get to. I, I read the, your uh, the the Guardian review of your Edinburgh <laughs> show, which is worth. Um, he hated me. He, he did. did. Well, look, he reluctantly said, uh, he, "Well, what I love about it, right?" <laughs> it ends uh, by calling it. This is a good quote: Rabelaisian, <laughs> Rabelaisian on, hilarity. <laughs> I mean, I had to look up what Rabelaisian meant, but. I think it's he's good. got a thesaurus. Does it? Is it? What's it mean? Rabelaisian means it's after Rabelais, who was a sort of did grotesque. Oh, I'm not interested grotesque already. Grotesque and crude humour. But it says, it's Rabelaisian hilarity has got popular written all over it, which is the most Guardian review you can ever get. And it's like, it's like saying, it's, oh, it's going to be, people are going to like this. <laughs> Three stars. <laughs> <laughs> There was one quote and it was something, I can't remember exactly, but it was like, <laughs> the bit where she went on about her bum hole was too much. <laughs> <laughs> there was, there was but I start my show by saying, there's no theme, there's no, it's just comedy, there's no, at the end, my nan's not dead. Like, it's like, it's a nice, it's just like nice, like silly, rude stuff. And it's all about me bits and me bobs and... If that's too much for you, then I don't care. You can leave. I've got your money. Do you know what I mean? Like, no. <laughs> yeah. And I, I'm very clear about it. So I, when he re that review came out, he was almost like, what? How, d how dare she? I was like, I told you at the start <laughs> what it was. Yeah, but it's, it's, I think it was quite nice in a, in a, in a very, like you say, in a, in a very odd well, he's okay. grudging. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't want to like. He, he like doesn't it. like cr crude stuff. That Fair, guy. Yeah. He just gave a terrible review to Lee Francis, who does, add, you know, all the yeah, yeah, Bo right. Selector guy. Which, you know, fair enough. Well done. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> correct. But uh, <laughs> but you know, he, he you know he's up, he's upset by that. You know, so he's a real proper comedy critic. But what I you know, but I think even within that, or in with it, certainly within the reviews, I, you, know, you know, I know the but the Birmingham things means you you'll get compared to. Frank Skinner, but Frank Skinner is the same. You know, when, when he started, he was doing very rude stuff, but with sort of beautiful poetic imagery in it. So me and Stu always used to go on about the Frank Skinner joke, which was about him doing a fart, and then a girl comes over to talk to him. But the fart, he says, the fart hung around me <laughs> like an ermine cloak, <laughs> which I think is just the most brilliant That's piece beautiful. of imagery. So even when you move, it's one of those farts that just like... <laughs> follows you around like a cloak and an ermine cloak I think is beautiful and there's a, there's something in that review about you sticking to a, a, a wall doing a rock climbing or a trampoline or well, something sticking to a wall like a whelk because that's what I mean that's that's well, fantastic the, the thing is I, I, I always I always try not to be too like like I want you to paint the picture in your head like I, this this is a bit a bit of a weird example but it's the only one that's stuck in the front of my head now I do a bit about having quite a fat lady bit um <laughs> <laughs> see i'm trying and i said like i put like a harness on when i was rock climbing and it pushes it forward so it looks like a horse's face <laughs> but <laughs> do you see what i meant like it's yeah, painting a picture you know what a horse's face looks like i but i see i that's i mean i think comedy's for all sorts of things and i like all kinds of comedy but i love that kind of stuff and i love that kind of stuff where it's imaginative it's crude and imaginative it's again it's like viz the profanosaurus in viz i think is one of the most beautiful pieces of comedy you know ever created and it's just a million definitions of four things basically <laughs> <laughs> the same four things so to i think to be able to come up with something about you know body parts about genitals that nobody else has done before <laughs> I think is an absolute triumph. <laughs> no one's done that. No one's compared their vagina to a horse's face before. <laughs> Just me. <laughs> but that's why you're an, an award-winning comedian. <laughs> and you know, it must be satisfying to get you know to get snoo a snooty review like that, which is you know to be it's still a nice review. And he's you it know he, and three stars from him is is, a, is about as good as you can get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so, uh, so, but um, but then to you know to to be kind of fated in Edinburgh, and I'd read that you uh, f you'd sort of found Edinburgh like you would you'd resisted it to begin with because it was for posh people who had too much time, free time and too much money, yeah? which is a good criticism of Edinburgh. It was quite nice in in the end because <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Excuse my phlegm. I mean, the, the, I did as best as I could. Yeah. 
I just did as best, I did as, as the best outcome I could have got, I got, and I was still like, I don't like it. And like, I don't know what else I, what I could tell myself to do, but it was lovely because I went up there with my, my husband came with me and I've got a two year old, she turned two while we were up there and I was still working remotely. So it was like, it was, it was quite not, it was almost like, it, well, you know, it's like you're in a different world. Yeah. It's like a different existence completely when you're up there. And, but to have my bubble of home was just very nice. Yeah. It was beautiful. If I had a bad gig, I went back. My daughter's still up. She doesn't care. If I had a great gig, I went back. My daughter's still up. She doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's really good to have that. You know, the last time I went up, we had the, the kids up, and it is good to have that thing to go back to and be to go away from the rest of it. But, it, but you, you were only able to go... I know you've been up a few times, but you were only really able to go up... There was a... There was a was it Sean Davies? Who yeah, did, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, she won. So she won the the panel prize right at Edinburgh, which is like ten thousand pounds or something, and then used that. Sorry, sorry, that our award wasn't ten thousand pounds, by the way. I've got some edge trimmers. Right <laughs> but she used that to to give bursaries for other working class acts yeah, to yeah, go yeah, up, yeah. which yeah. is which is like a terrific thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, it's brilliant. And, and whenever there's anything for that, I always like, they'll do a few showcases. And if they're local, I'll try and do I'll do them because yeah. they just they just I didn't have any idea how to do Edinburgh, and I, I still don't don't ask. I don't, people keep asking me for advice. I went, I don't know what happened. I can't help you, but <laughs> I just went up. I did what I was told. I had ham sandwich two days in a row. I remember that. That's all I can remember. And it was a and that was it. But uh, she kind of she she gives uh, comedian at, at the time I was very poor. I'm <laughs> still poor. And then I went up uh, and she gives you a week to like almost experience what it's like. Um, and and it's it's any all of the money at the end of it is shared between all. I think it's like eight twelve acts or right. whatever. And it's uh, lovely. It's just a lovely thing. To well, go. it's terrific that that's you know I, it is my it's the part of the reason why I you know I've really turned against the. I mean, it's always look. It's always been this. It's always been expensive to go up, and it's you know even in the nineties when I was going up. I mean, maybe not in the seventies and the eighties, but like when I first went up as a eight nineteen year old, you could see some shows for two quid. You're getting some shows for free, and you could sleep on a floor somewhere, and you know you'd lose a grand or something, but you could you could find a way to make that work. Uh, and then so professionally, again, you know, you'd lose 1,500 quid maybe. But now the accommodation is so much and uh, all oh the expenses are so much. And it just feels wrong. So it's, it's, it's terrific if people are, you know, finding that way to make it work. Because comedy, you know, comedy used to be uh, people from lots of different backgrounds would on the circuit and could make a living. Uh, and now it's, again, like all the arts, it's becoming something that, you know, what was it? The ba Was it the BAFTAs that's 50% of... I can't remember, it was something like 50% of the people who, who won the BAFTAs or something were from pu public school backgrounds. It was something like that. Do you remember, did you want to see that this week? It maybe it wasn't the BAFTAs, but it was something, it was something like that. We'll fact check it later. Uh, <laughs> and I'll just put my voice and going, it wasn't the BAFTAs, it was this. But uh, whatever, like there's a huge amount of sort of public school kids who, who are able to, to do all this stuff because they can afford to do it. Yeah. Right? So it's, it's great that, um, that, you know, that someone's finding a way through that. But it shouldn't be so expensive, though. Oh, it's just... I don't know what's going to happen. It, surely it'll get to a point where it'll just explode. Yeah. Like, but, you know, I, d I don't know. I feel like I went up and I made my point. Do <laughs> yeah. I have to go back again? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> You're not going back this year, though. <laughs> no, I need my roof done. I can't afford it. <laughs> God, no. No, 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 no. No, no. But you're touring the show now. You're touring the show around the... Little tour, just because I can't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I mean, by the time this comes out, it would be done anyway. It will be done. <laughs> but how you, how you find it? Because, it's a, you know, it's actually, it's, again, it's a, it's a big thing to go on a tour and it's a difficult thing to be able to go on a tour. It's nice. I find that wherever I am, it's different, obviously. It's, uh, but I, I don't know, but do you know when you get fed up of saying the same things over and over and over and over no, again? I can't imagine that that would happen oh, to yeah, me. Oh, God. <laughs> But my, my reactions are, are dependent on how the audience reacts. And I, 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 I've, I've been described by quite a few reviewers. It's like, she comes on like she's your mate you haven't seen for like three years. <laughs> yeah. and she's got loads of gossip. <laughs> she's got loads of gossip for you. She's gonna t and I just, if people are, especially if I do a joke and it doesn't, like I can see someone in the audience doesn't quite enjoy it, but then I'm just going to keep going because that gives me such a thrill to see someone <laughs> uncomfortable. Oh, I can't tell you. I love it. I That's good. It. I think, you know, it did t for a long time, for quite a while. And I think when, especially when you're playing small rooms and, you know, and, it, and sometimes it's difficult to get an audience going. 
or you get the occasional audience that just aren't into you. You sort of do put your head down and just get through it. But I think the more I've done tours, yeah. the more I just sort of see every show as an opportunity to try and improve the show. Yeah. And you've got to you've got to sort of do it as if the audience are enjoying it. Oh, exactly. Yeah. You know, sometimes like tonight. Um, <laughs> there are a bunch of I can't wait for next week's audience. They're going to be, be, be a lot better than this. <laughs> um, 